Hey friend, today we're gonna to be talking about Port Stanley, Ontario. We're gonna be digging into the history of the area, the types of homes, price points, everything that you could possibly wanna know. Obviously I'm standing here by this beautiful pier, about 60 seconds that way is one of the most epic beaches. I will show it to you later. About 17 minutes that way is St. Thomas, which is booming. And then about 45 minutes that way is London. Oh, wait a second, look who I found. What are you doing here? Oh, I'm just gonna take these people on a little tour and show them everything they could possibly wanna know. Let's kick it off and have some fun. <laughs> Did you know that Port Stanley was named after the same gentleman, Mr. Lord Stanley of, yes, the Stanley Cup. Back in 1804, they granted the very first land deed and it was an important trade route in the 17th and 18th centuries. Great camping spot. As you can tell, these days it is known as an amazing beach community, but more importantly, its proximity to some thriving markets and being in close proximity to highways and logistics routes make it a very interesting market. Population estimate of 2,148 and they're tracking to be close to 10,000 people by 2030. So before we actually take you to the neighborhoods, I figured it'd be worthwhile to give you a 30,000 foot view of what we're talking about here. So here's Port Stanley on a map. Here's the GTA, here's the States. The really cool thing about this whole pocket of Southwestern Ontario is you are very close to the border and you're pretty close to Toronto. So all of the big bands that play in Toronto and Detroit always stop in London and your proximity being in Port Stanley means you are a hop, skip and a jump away from the London area. If I show you a map to St. Thomas, you're at 19 minutes. Let me show you London, Ontario as well. Just to show you the distance, you're only 40 minutes. I mean, that is literally a sneeze in Toronto going to your daily drive and you get to go to the beach. Imagine that. The neighborhoods we're gonna be covering cover this pocket here. There's some other areas called Union and some different spots that we can definitely get to in another episode. Make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss those future episodes. But here is why people love Port Stanley. One of the main reasons is this incredible sandy beach. GTs on the beach is a staple. These are volleyball courts. These are basketball courts and playgrounds. It literally has everything. Shout out to Mackey's. They have an amazing hot dog and french fry place right here. It's very quaint. There has been development in this area. A lot of development happening here. And then some development we're going to showcase you up in this area. Different styles and types of homes, which we are going to get into. Now on the Google map, I thought it was worthwhile to break down. There are a few different neighborhoods that we'll be covering. Here's your main beach area. Here's Little Beach. Here's Orchard, Mitchell Heights, Erie Rest. And then the North Ward area. This is definitely a spot to watch as well. But I figure let's get right into the video and we'll take you into the neighborhoods. If this is your first time to this channel and you're wondering what it's like to live in southwestern Ontario, you came to the right place. We love to show you the good and bad about all the different areas you can possibly be in. Today we are in Port Stanley, Ontario. Make sure you smash that subscribe and that like button to make sure you don't miss a single neighborhood that we have coming up. People are literally coming just like you by the hundreds every single year to these channels to connect with us to make sure they end up in the right spots. And we love nothing more than to serve them in the highest capacity that we can. Nathan, before we get started on the tour, what is it actually like to be in Port Stanley? Well, it's just one of those areas where you can walk past someone on the street doing a video shoot and get to, to know how they move from GTA to a smaller town because they want that beach life. They want the amenities and all the restaurants that come with it. But places like this make you feel like you're a human being. We were shooting a video shoot here and uh, some guy walked, walked along and we learned that he would move from GTA to here because he wanted to be part of this lifestyle, part of the restaurants, part of the beach and everything that comes with it. Yeah, I know Lindsay's really excited to share about the shopping and the beach life and what it's like to be a beach bum up here because I know she spends <laughs> a lot of time in this area. But it is one of those places that, you know, shout out to my buddy Dustin who owns the pet store. Talk to him. I mean, I've known Dustin for 20 years. We were just talking about how that community vibe is something that this area still has. So if that sounds exciting, let's get into it. We are leaving the downtown Main Street area. I'm gonna take you up to North Ward for a second. That is the last clip you just saw. There's two sides to North Ward. The right side is the newer construction and the left side is the older homes. 
The older homes can range 490 to, I saw one on the river sell for 1.3 million. Stuff in the downtown core, closer to like the 690 range, and they are like 30 year old homes to 100 year plus. You're seeing some newer inventory, call it zero to five years on this side of the North Ward. And those will trade in like the 690-ish area. And then some of the newer construction that has really nice, say, backing onto green space areas. Some of them are in the nines to a million plus at this point. So large range of homes that are available. Some of the cliffside properties will take you down to as well are pretty spectacular. The views of the water are amazing. And there is a reason why those command top, top dollar. So we're here on the main street in Port Stanley where you're gonna find lots of cute, unique shops. You're gonna find great restaurants, galleries, furniture shops. And what's great is you're in a small town. So you're gonna find those unique things that you're not gonna get in the big city. Also, Port Stanley is a great day trip town. If you're thinking of visiting, they've got a great salon, get your nails done. Uh, and then go to one of the great restaurants after like Solo on Main. We've got Two Forks here, and then some of the great little shops that you're gonna wanna pop into. Frankly Scarlet, we've got Chic Shack, Modern Maple for all of those unique items. And to stem off all of the shopping that Lindsay highlighted downtown, we're standing at the pier of Port Stanley, uh, which showcases the views and the lifestyle that you get here. At one point, you couldn't even get to where we're standing. Port Stanley put a whole bunch of money into infilling this park behind you and making this pier walkable and enjoyable. So what's beautiful about the space and how it never used to be here, we can use this for anything from events, outdoor workouts, uh, shopping, pop-up, outdoor markets, anything like that. So we're back in that North Ward area. This is a site that was developed by Domus, a local builder. They are tied into this community and they're very, very involved, very thoughtful builders. These are the semi-detached homes that they built. And these, when they started building, were trading in the high threes and now they're over 600. So that could give you an idea of what's happening in the Port Stanley market. They also have beautiful single family homes backing onto the ravine and two condo sites that they're currently building. So now for the fun part, how much does it cost to live on the beach? We're gonna get right into these numbers and then I'm gonna have Kyle physically show you 
the beach. So this yellow area is that main beach area. 2.5 million gets you waterfront. Three story, one row back. You're looking at a similar three story, probably a little bit smaller for 1.4. And then over here, walking distance, you're about 1.4 as well. If you get to the kind of downtown pocket near the beach, you're looking at 600s. We've seen ranges of 550 to 700, some selling over asking price. There is a lot for sale currently in Edith Cabal for 459. Front Street here, this has a special place in my heart. We've been selling in this area almost a decade now. And one of my first listings ever was right at the end of this street. I actually sold the guy right here. Um, and then Lower Springs actually has a nice, beautiful little private beach in this area. And George Street, I got clients there. It is spectacular. So the price points in these areas are going to vary. You're going to see 460. You're going to see the 800s. Mitchell Heights is a gorgeous spot as well, too. You're seeing one for 660. Why are the prices increasing so dramatically? You know, there's a lot of reasons. I think proximity. I think people are looking, where can I go? Where can I live, play, and work? And it is all these dynamics of being close to places like St. Thomas in London. Interesting fact, Talbotville is actually the home of the new Amazon facility. So one of the reasons you're going to see a lot of growth in this area is Amazon has set up shop. I'm assuming because of logistics, there's the 402, the 401, the rail lines, and the boats that actually go over to the States. So a few reasons why I think this area is poised to grow. So this entire video, we've been talking about how Port Stanley is a beach town. Well, now I want to showcase that exact beach. But first, right behind me is GT's. This is the place to be in Port Stanley when it's the summertime. They have an incredible indoor outdoor space, as you can see, and they host a lot of live events, live music. They've got beach volleyball courts that everybody can participate in. And right behind me is that beach that I was mentioning earlier. And I want to talk to you about a few things here. So I want to talk to you about proximity. We are maybe a two minute drive to the downtown core of Port Stanley. We've got an incredible new construction development partnering with Domus Developments. That's a three minute drive. So if you're looking to relocate to Port Stanley, you're looking for either new construction or residential resale, you are so close to this incredible backdrop beach. So if you have any questions or if you want more information on this incredible community, reach out to us at the Prime Real Estate team and one of our experts will be able to help you out.